1번 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Good afternoon. May I help you? Yes, I'm looking to buy some body lotion. Okay, our body lotions are right over here. We have these two kinds, a regular one and a herbal one. How much are they? The regular one is $15 and the herbal one is $25. The herbal one has special ingredients that are good for sensitive skin. I see. I have pretty sensitive skin. I'll take a bottle of the herbal one. All right. If you buy two bottles, you get a 10% discount. Great. Then I'll take two. Okay. Do you need anything else? Yes. I need some shower washcloths. Those are right over here. They come in packs of three for $10. Okay. I'll take one pack. All right. Is that all? Yes. Here's my credit card. 2번 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Welcome to Jessica's Craft Shop. May I help you? Yes. Do you sell glass flowers? Yes. They actually come in sets. Great. Can you show me them? Sure. Right this way. Here are our tulip sets. Wow. They're really cool. How much are they? The blue set is $20 and the red one is $10. I like the blue set. I'll take three of them. And what about those roses? Are they the same price? No. A set of the small size roses is $10 and a set of the large size ones is $15. I'll take four sets of the small size ones. Oh, and just in case you didn't know, we're having a sale this week So you get 10% off the total price. Great! You're buying three blue tulip sets and four small rose sets, right? Yes. Here's my credit card. 3번 대화를 듣고 남자가 토요일 오후에 농구 경기를 보러 갈수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Michael, I was at the soccer game yesterday. You guys played great. Thanks. I felt like our defense saved us. Yeah, your team had more time to train than before. Yeah, I think it paid off. Great. How are you feeling? You had to come out of the game for a while. I just twisted my ankle. It's sore, but I'm okay. That's good. By the way, there's the basketball final game on Saturday. Would you like to go watch it? Yeah, but I'm sure it's hard to get tickets. I have two tickets I bought a couple of weeks ago. How about going with me? Oh, but wait. Is it an afternoon game? Yeah. Do you have other plans? Actually, yes. I have to help my uncle move this Saturday afternoon. I see. We can go together another time. Sure, we will. 4번 대화를 듣고 여자가 파티에 참석하지 못하는 이유를 고르시오. Hi, Lauren. What's up? Hi, Ben. I'm sorry to tell you, but I can't go to the potluck party tomorrow. Why not? Do you have other plans? No, I'm just going to stay home. Wait a minute. Is it because David's going to be there? I heard you two had an argument. That's not it. We talked on the phone this morning and made up. That's good. Are you not coming because you haven't made any food to bring? If you haven't, it's okay. Just come anyway. Actually, I've already bought some ingredients to make potato salad. Really? Then why can't you come? Well, I have an eye disease. The doctor says I need to stay home. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. I should stay home to take some rest. Okay. I hope you get better soon. 5번 대화를 듣고 빅워터 페스티벌에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Honey, look at this poster for the Big Water Festival. Let me see. Wow, it's an event where people throw buckets of water at each other. Sounds fun. I wonder how many people join. 
It says that more than a thousand participants are expected to come. Whoa! Why don't we go together with the kids? All right. Let's look at the details. When is it? It says here that it is on May 28th. That's this Saturday. Perfect. And where does it take place? In the soccer stadium in East Side Park. That's not that far from our house. We can take the subway. Is there anything we need to bring for the event? Here it says to just bring a raincoat. That seems right, since we're going to throw water at each other. Sounds exciting. 6. 대화를 듣고 페이퍼 아트 뮤지엄에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Have you been to the paper art museum? No, I haven't. Is that the museum across from Central Station downtown? Yes, it is. I was thinking we should go there sometime. Okay. Is it open every day? Every day except Monday. It opens from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. How about going this Saturday? Sounds good to me. What type of events or programs do they have? Right now, they're having a program called Traditional Korean Paper Making. Really? That sounds interesting. Yeah. They also have a permanent exhibition with paper craft artifacts and artworks. That'd be cool to see. How much is the admission fee? It's free. Isn't it great? Yeah, it sure is. 7번 애플트리 하우스 클럽에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeremy Parker, the president of the Student Council. Today, I'd like to inform you about a fun volunteering opportunity. It's with the Apple Tree House Club, which is a group of volunteers who help maintain the historic gardens at Apple Tree House. They're looking for new members to work with them now. Their club members volunteer for about six hours once a month on various gardening activities. This year's first volunteer day is Saturday, March 19th. Volunteers are provided with all the gardening tools, but not lunch. So, they need to bring their own lunch, or they can buy food at the Apple Tree House Cafe. To join the Apple Tree House Club, you have to apply online. Please check their website for more information. Thank you. 8번 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 주문할 목욕 가운을 고르시오. Honey, I think we should buy a new bathrobe for Amy. She's outgrown her current one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's check online. Okay, I'll open up the site where we often shop for Amy's clothes. Here, I found these bathrobes. Let's see. Oh, I like this one, but it's the most expensive. It's a little too much money, I think. I agree. Let's choose one of the others, then. They're all nice. Yeah. What size? We should get her a size 8. Then that eliminates this one. And I think she'd like having pockets. Yeah, so let's get her one of these two. The white one is nice. What do you think? I like it too, but I don't think Amy would like it that much. The other one would be better. All right. Let's order this bathrobe then. 9번 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 보러 갈 연극을 고르시오. Hi, Sophia. Check this out. Hi, George. Cool. The 2022 International Play Festival schedule. We were talking about seeing a play this year. Yeah, let's do it. Which one would you like to see? What about The Secret Garden? That's in French, though. Oops, I didn't see that. We can't see that, then. Any of the rest will be okay. They're in English or Spanish. How about going to one on Saturday? All right, let's go on Saturday. That eliminates this one, then. Yeah. Hmm, this place sounds interesting. It does sound interesting, but I think 150 minutes is too long. Yeah, you're right. 
Now we're down to these two choices. How about this one at the Main Street Theater? Well, it's quite far from here. How about going to this theater instead? Okay, let's go there. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, this is Bob's Camera Shop. Hi, this is Clara Patterson. I'm calling to see if I can pick up my camera today. Let me check. Yes, I finished repairing your camera. It's ready to go. 1번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Linda, where are you heading? I'm going to make copies of the handout for the meeting. I need to get it done now because the meeting is right after lunch. Oh, I completely forgot about the meeting. Where did you say it was? 2번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, Mike. Wow, you're up really early. What's the occasion? Good morning, Mom. I wanted to get up early to practice the presentation I have to give in class today. Good idea. Even though you're up early, you seem really fresh and energetic. 3번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Matilda. You look different, but I can't tell what it is. It's probably my glasses. I got a new pair last weekend. Oh, right. But you just got new glasses a few months ago. Did you lose them? 4번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Jack, can you tell me where Star Theater is? Sure. It's on Maple Street. You can go there by subway. Do you want to watch a movie? Yes. I plan on watching a movie downtown that ends around 11 tonight. Can I catch the subway back here at that time? 5번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Oh my goodness, my laptop just froze up. There must be something wrong with it. Have you saved your data by any chance? No, I haven't. I've been working a lot, but I may have to redo it. 6번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. David, I'm all set. Are you ready to go to Emma's wedding? Yeah, I'm all dressed up. Honey, how do I look now? Wow, you look amazing. Wait a minute. Look, there's a small hole in your left sock. 7번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, we've been using the heater so much this winter. Yes, I'm worried our electricity bill will be really high. Me too. We will have to repair our broken fireplace before next winter comes. 8번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Oliver, dinner was delicious. I had no idea you were such a good cook. I'm glad you liked it. I've been learning how to cook from my dad recently. He's a chef at a hotel restaurant. That's so cool. I wonder how I can learn to cook like you. 9번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Lydia, look at this flyer. Robin Franklin is going to be signing his new book at the library downtown. Really? He's my favorite author. I love his new book. When is it? Next Saturday at 2 p.m. Would you like to go together? 10번 
대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, look how hard it's snowing outside. Oh no. If it doesn't stop soon, we won't be able to back the car out of the garage. It's already starting to pile up. We should go and shovel now before much more snow falls. 11번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Susan. I heard that you're going to be the new manager in the marketing department. Congratulations. Hi, Paul. I never expected I'd be promoted to manager. I'm not surprised. Everybody thinks you really deserve it. 12번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, let's get out and do something fun. I was thinking we could go see the musical Song for Lovers. Good idea. But do you think tickets are still available? We'll never know if we don't look into it. Let's check. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Front desk, how may I help you? I'm in room 201. I specifically booked a non-smoking room, but I smell cigarette smoke in my room. We're sorry about that. Let me check that for you. You're Wendy Parker, right? Yes, that's correct. Hmm. The record says we assigned you a non-smoking room. Then why do I smell cigarette smoke here? Well, since your room is close to the ground level, cigarette smoke must have come in from outside. Sorry for the inconvenience. Would you like to switch rooms? Yes, please. The smell is really bothering me. Let me first check if there are any rooms available. If it's possible, I'd like to move to a higher floor. Maybe higher than the fifth floor? Okay. Oh, we have one. Room 908 on the ninth floor is available. 1번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. What's with the long face? Nothing. I'm perfectly fine. Come on. I've noticed you've seemed upset all afternoon at school. Is there something bothering you? Well, I just can't believe Mr. Park gave me a C- minus for English literature. Yeah, that seems low. Didn't you get a good grade on the midterm? Yeah, but I got a bad grade on my final paper. I got it back with a comment, poor source citation. I don't understand why Mr. Park took it so seriously. Uh-oh. It's bad to take someone else's ideas without citing their source. Mr. Park must be so angry about that. Really? Well, I was running out of time to finish the paper and thought skipping the source citation would be just okay. Actually, it's something you should never do. It's like stealing someone's idea. Oh, I didn't think like that. You should have been honest and told Mr. Park about your situation and asked him for more time. You're right. I feel so embarrassed now. What should I do? 2번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, I don't know what to do with our dog, Max. What's the problem? He just runs to the door and barks uncontrollably whenever the doorbell rings. Hmm, I think he just gets overly excited because he loves being around new people. Sure, but I've noticed that it makes some of our visitors uncomfortable. Good point. We should try to train him. How can we do that? How about calming him down when he barks at the doorbell and then rewarding him when he stops barking? What could we use as a reward? We can give him a dog biscuit. He loves biscuits more than anything. I hope that works, but I am still not sure about it. 3번 대화를 듣고 
남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, I'm here to repair your washing machine. Hi, it's in the laundry room over here. It suddenly stopped working last week. Did you get any error messages on the panel? Yeah, the message MX appeared. I wasn't sure what it meant. It means that there's a problem with the motor. I'll check it now. Okay. Do you think it's broken? Well, the motor is burnt out. I think it needs to be replaced, but I don't think it's easy to find a new motor for this model. You mean the motors for this model may not be available anymore? Right. When did you buy this one? I bought it when I got married 15 years ago. I see. Let me check if there is one in stock. Oh, there's one, but I wouldn't recommend you buy it because it costs quite a lot. 4번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. John, where are you going with that box? Hello, Ms. Adamson. I'm going out to throw this away. It's waste from my classroom. You transferred to our school last week, so I guess you might not know well about how to dispose of waste here. You're right. The recycling area is outside the back door of the school building. Thanks, Ms. Adamson. But hold on, John. Do you know how to separate out the recyclables? Well, not exactly. This is my first time taking out the recycling. You should throw plastics, cans, glass bottles into yellow boxes separately and non-recyclables into the big black trash can. Oh, I understand. Is there anything else I should know? Yes. Throw plastic waste with food on it into the black trash can. It's non-recyclable. 5번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Ava. What are you listening to on your smartphone? Hi, Dave. I'm listening to the radio. I usually spend a few hours a day listening to the radio. I didn't know that. Don't you think radio is a little too outdated? No. It may be old, but it's not outdated. It's evolved from the original format of radio. Right. But these days, most people watch video clips or TV shows on their phones or computers, not to listen to the radio. Well, I read about a survey that showed radio is still really popular, sometimes more so than podcasts and TV. Oh, really? I wonder why people still love it. There are many reasons. Above all, it helps people fight loneliness. The act of listening can make them feel like they're part of an exchange. Hmm, that makes sense. There are those who actively join a conversation by calling in or sending emails to the radio station. 6번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Joe. You look a little stressed out. I am. Whenever I take online classes, after about an hour, I start having difficulty concentrating on them. I experience that too, so I try to get rid of anything around me that may distract me. Me too. I remove any distractions and even turn off my cell phone, but I still can't focus. I know what you mean. That doesn't always work. Then how about taking breaks when you study? How often and how long? Maybe once every hour for 10 minutes or so. Just set your alarm and then take a break and do some simple exercises. That's a good idea. I usually sit at my computer for hours. Maybe that's why I lose focus. Right. I'll send you a good 5-minute exercise video I found on the internet. It helps me increase my focus. 7번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Olivia, did you hear the news? An employee at the Midtown Wastewater Facility secretly dumped wastewater into the Wildwood River. 
Oh my gosh, I didn't hear about that. That's terrible. I know. He just did it to cut costs on getting rid of the wastewater. People are sometimes so selfish. Other animals aren't like humans. Right. Some humans can be the opposite of animals, such as ground squirrels. Why ground squirrels? Because they let other squirrels know about danger by giving a warning when a predator is nearby. Oh, and the warning makes the squirrel more noticeable, doesn't it? Yeah. So the squirrels who warn others are more likely to get attacked. Why do they choose to put their life at risk to save others? Scientists say it's just a natural drive to protect their species. 8번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Victor, what are you doing? I'm cleaning chicken. I'm making stew, Mom. Oh, you shouldn't do that. When you rinse chicken, water splashes everywhere, and that can cause food poisoning. What do you mean? Well, the water droplets can spread bacteria all over the place, like on the counter or around the kitchen sink. Oh, really? Yes, and if you touch it and get just a little bacteria in your mouth, it can cause pretty bad food poisoning. That sounds terrible. So, it's best to take the chicken out of the package and put it directly into the pot. But I'm worried it won't be clean. It'll be fine because it gets cooked. Just be sure to clean up the spot where you are handling raw chicken. 9번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Mary. What are you going to do after school? Hi, Daniel. I'm going to find some visual material for my science class presentation. What's the presentation topic? It's about AI and the fourth industrial revolution. I want to add realistic pictures of the products used in everyday life besides the information online. You've already checked the school library, right? Yes, I went there, but I couldn't find the pictures I was looking for. Well, that's too bad. Oh, when is your presentation? The 2022 AI Expo is at the Civic Center downtown this weekend, which exhibits many AI products. Really? The presentation is next Friday, so it sounds like the Expo could be helpful for my presentation. Yeah, they even allow you to take pictures of the exhibits. 10번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, where are you going? To my friend Mia's house to pick up her kids. You remember that we're taking care of them for the weekend, don't you? Of course. I thought you were picking them up later. So what do you think we should do with them? I was thinking of taking them to the observatory. That's cool. They'd really enjoy looking at all the stars. For sure. When should we go? How about tomorrow night? It's supposed to be a clear night. Sounds good. When do you plan on getting tickets? I was just thinking we could buy them there. I'm sure it's going to be busy tomorrow, so I think we should get our tickets in advance. Well, I don't have time to do that now because I have to go pick up Mia's kids. 11번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Mom, did I get a package delivered today? No, you didn't. What did you order? A book for my physics class. I need it for the first day of class next Monday. When did you order it? I ordered it last week, so it should have arrived by now. Are you sure you didn't order it to our old address? It hasn't been long since we moved into this house. I don't think so. Check the website where you ordered the book. Okay. Oh, no. I added the new address in my profile, but I didn't select it when I ordered. Oh, dear. The book must have been delivered to our old house. Do you want me to check with the people living there? That'd be great. If they have it, I'll go pick it up. Do you have their phone number? 
12번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Mr. Keston, can I come in? Oh, hi, Sally. Sure. Come in and have a seat. Thank you. I have something I want to discuss with you. Okay, what is it? As you know, I've been playing the cello for a long time. Yeah, I know. You want to be a professional cellist, don't you? Not really. Actually, I'm more into politics. I want to major in political science. Oh, I didn't know that. Is there a particular reason why you want to study in that field? Well, I've always been interested in politics, and last winter I read several books on politics, which really impacted me. I see. You've always been good at resolving conflicts. I'm sure you'll be good at politics. Thanks for saying so, but I'm worried because it's not the field I've been studying. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 메건이 필립에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Philip goes to a bookstore to buy a recently published book titled The Psychology of Everyday Affairs. While Philip is looking for the book, he happens to see an advertisement poster on the wall. It says that if people sign up for a membership, they can get a 10% discount on the books. At the counter, he meets Megan, who works at the bookstore. He tells her that he wants to become a bookstore member to get a discount on the book. However, Megan knows that the membership discount is only for books that were published more than a year ago. Even though Megan doesn't want to disappoint Philip, she has to tell him that he cannot get the discount on the book he wants to buy. In this situation, what would Megan most likely say to Philip? 1번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 미스터 오웬스가 린에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Lynn is on her school's girls' soccer team, and Mr. Owens is the team's coach. Lynn is the best goal scorer on the team. After the regular season, they advance to the final. Lynn is determined to score the winning goal for her team. In the first half of the game, there are many situations where Lynn tries too hard to score on her own instead of passing the ball to teammates who are in better positions to score. When the first half ends, The score is 0-0. During halftime, Mr. Rowans wants to advise Lynn to pass more rather than trying to score by herself. In this situation, what would Mr. Rowans most likely say to Lynn? 2번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 미즈 와이트가 야영객에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Ms. White has worked as a national park manager for a long time. Recently, as many people have become interested in camping, the number of visitors to the park has increased, so she has more work to do. She believes that it's a good thing that more people are enjoying nature, but she's worried because there are more and more people not following the park rules. One day, while driving around the park, Ms. White sees a camper trying to make a fire, which is against the park rules. So, she wants to inform the camper of the rules. In this situation, what would Ms. White most likely say to the camper? 3번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고, 케빈이 리사에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Kevin is working part-time at a small cafe. One day, one of his friends, Lisa, comes to the cafe as a customer. She tells Kevin she's going to study at the cafe. After she orders and gets her coffee, she sits down at a table and starts to study. A few minutes later, her phone rings and she starts to have a phone conversation. During the conversation, she starts talking louder, which begins to bother the other customers in the cafe. Kevin notices that some customers start looking at Lisa, annoyed. So, Kevin wants to kindly tell Lisa to speak more quietly on the phone. In this situation, what would Kevin most likely say to Lisa? 4번 
다음 상황 설명을 듣고 미즈 파커가 탐에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Ms. Parker is Tom's homeroom teacher. She is worried about Tom because he's always late for school in the morning. She has a talk with Tom and finds out he has a problem waking up early in the morning. Even though he uses his smartphone as an alarm clock, he always turns it off and falls right back asleep. Ms. Parker asks Tom when he usually goes to sleep, and he says he stays up playing computer games late at night until 1 a.m. Ms. Parker thinks that's the problem. She thinks that since Tom is going to bed too late at night, he has trouble waking up early. So, she wants to tell Tom that he should go to bed earlier than now to get up earlier the next morning. In this situation, what would Ms. Parker most likely say to Tom? 5번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 매튜가 신디에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Matthew and Cindy work in the same department at an electronics company. Today, they have a lot of work to do to prepare for a promotional event tomorrow. They end up working overtime until late and are finally ready to go back home around 10 p.m. Cindy is going to drive home and she is aware that Matthew will take the subway back home. So, Cindy offers Matthew a ride to his home, which is about a 20-minute drive from her place. But, Matthew doesn't want to bother Cindy because he knows that she is tired. So, he wants to tell Cindy that although he appreciates her offer, he'd like to take the subway instead. In this situation, what would Matthew most likely say to Cindy? 6. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 나오미가 윌리엄에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Naomi is a high school student. Nowadays, she feels physically weaker overall. She often feels tired and can't concentrate on her schoolwork. One day, she tells one of her close friends, William, about her concern. After hearing this, William advises her to exercise regularly to stay healthy. Naomi agrees with him and decides to go jogging every day in the playground during lunchtime. She also thinks that it will be better if William jogs with her for his health, too. So, Naomi wants to suggest to William that he join her daily workout. In this situation, what would Naomi most likely say to William? 1번부터 2번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 1번과 2번 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Good morning, students. You might think that math is all about boring formulas, but actually it involves much more. Today, we'll learn how mathematics is used in the arts. First, let's take music. Early mathematicians found that dividing or multiplying sound frequencies created different musical notes. Many musicians started applying this mathematical concept to make harmonized sounds. Second, painting frequently uses math concepts, particularly the golden ratio. Using this, great painters created masterpieces that display accurate proportions. The Mona Lisa is well known for its accurate proportionality. Photography is another example of using mathematical ideas. Photographers divide their frames into three by three sections and place their subjects along the lines. By doing so, the photo becomes balanced, thus more pleasing. Lastly, dance applies mathematics to position dancers on the stage. In ballet, dancers calculate distances between themselves and other dancers and adjust to the size of the stage. This gives the impression of harmonious movement. I hope you've gained a new perspective on mathematics. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Good morning, students. You might think that math is all about boring formulas, but actually, it involves much more. Today, we'll learn how mathematics is used in the arts. First, let's take music. Early mathematicians found that dividing or multiplying sound frequencies created different musical notes. Many musicians started applying this mathematical concept 
to make harmonized sounds. Second, painting frequently uses math concepts, particularly the golden ratio. Using this, great painters created masterpieces that display accurate proportions. The Mona Lisa is well known for its accurate proportionality. Photography is another example of using mathematical ideas. Photographers divide their frames into three by three sections and place their subjects along the lines. By doing so, the photo becomes balanced, thus more pleasing. Lastly, dance applies mathematics to position dancers on the stage. In ballet, dancers calculate distances between themselves and other dancers and adjust to the size of the stage. This gives the impression of harmonious movement. I hope you've gained a new perspective on mathematics. 1번 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 2번 언급된 예술 분야가 아닌 것은? 1번부터 2번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 1번과 2번. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hi everyone. Welcome back to My Sweet Home channel. Whether you're building a new house or just remodeling your roof, finding the right type of roof covering is essential. Here's a brief overview of the most common types of roofing materials. For a long time, clay tiles have been a traditional roofing material for homes. While the initial cost can be high, it's still considered a cost-effective choice in the long term. An asphalt roof is also popular since it's very economical and easy to install. It comes in a range of colors and sizes that can easily suit most roof designs. And a lead roof has been equally popular with homeowners. It has been used for hundreds of years due to its long life and flexibility. There's also steel roofing, which can be used in most weather environments since it's among the hardest metal options. It's also the least expensive compared to other metals. Now, let's take a look at some pictures of various types of roofs. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hi everyone, welcome back to My Sweet Home channel. Whether you're building a new house or just remodeling your roof, finding the right type of roof covering is essential. Here's a brief overview of the most common types of roofing materials. For a long time, clay tiles have been a traditional roofing material for homes. While the initial cost can be high, it's still considered a cost-effective choice in the long term. An asphalt roof is also popular since it's very economical and easy to install. It comes in a range of colors and sizes that can easily suit most roof designs. And a lead roof has been equally popular with homeowners. It has been used for hundreds of years due to its long life and flexibility. There's also steel roofing, which can be used in most weather environments since it's among the hardest metal options. It's also the least expensive compared to other metals. Now, let's take a look at some pictures of various types of roofs. 1번. 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 2번. 언급된 재료가 아닌 것은? 3번부터 4번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 3번과 4번. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, listeners. Welcome to the Balanced Life Podcast. Today, I'd like to introduce some of my favorite things to do when feeling down because of stress from work. If you're busy working nonstop, then you may feel tired and underappreciated. So why not reward yourself? You're worth it. It'll boost your spirits, making you feel good and ultimately lowering your work stress. Here are some things you can do to treat yourself. First, go and see a movie by yourself. There's something relaxing and peaceful about seeing a film without anybody else. Second, buy your favorite ice cream on your way home from work and spend time enjoying it while watching TV. 
Third, buy yourself a new outfit, or at least a new accessory. If you are on a tight budget, visit charity shops or hold a clothes swapping event with friends. Lastly, you can also forget all the stresses of work by going to the hairdresser. Rewards don't have to be expensive or time consuming. Even the smallest treat will help you feel better. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, listeners. Welcome to the Balanced Life Podcast. Today, I'd like to introduce some of my favorite things to do when feeling down because of stress from work. If you're busy working nonstop, then you may feel tired and underappreciated. So why not reward yourself? You're worth it. It'll boost your spirits, making you feel good and ultimately lowering your work stress. Here are some things you can do to treat yourself. First, go and see a movie by yourself. There's something relaxing and peaceful about seeing a film without anybody else. Second, buy your favorite ice cream on your way home from work and spend time enjoying it while watching TV. Third, buy yourself a new outfit or at least a new accessory. If you are on a tight budget, visit charity shops or hold a clothes swapping event with friends. Lastly, you can also forget all the stresses of work by going to the hairdresser. Rewards don't have to be expensive or time consuming. Even the smallest treat will help you feel better. 3번. 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 4번. 언급된 일이 아닌 것은? 5번부터 6번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 5번과 6번. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello everyone. Fresh vegetables are an important part of our diet. Some people prefer to eat them raw, but cooking vegetables can enhance their flavors. Here are some ways. First, boiling is a good, easy way. For example, for broccoli, just cut it into bite-sized pieces, add them to a pot of boiling water, and let them cook for a few minutes. You can cook potatoes this way too. Just place them in cold water and slowly bring the water to a boil. Another way to cook vegetables is steaming. It's a good way to cook asparagus. Just chop it up into short pieces. Add one inch of water to a pot, heat it, and once it starts boiling, add the vegetable on a steam tray and put on the lid. Let it steam for five to six minutes. In the case of peas, steam them for three minutes. Lastly, roasting vegetables means cooking them at high heat for a longer period of time. Carrots cooked this way taste wonderful. For the best results, cook them at 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Toss them in a bit of oil and season them with herbs and spices. Then, roast them until tender on the inside and crispy on the outside. Now, let's watch a video about these methods. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, everyone. Fresh vegetables are an important part of our diet. Some people prefer to eat them raw, but cooking vegetables can enhance their flavors. Here are some ways. First, boiling is a good, easy way. For example, for broccoli, just cut it into bite-sized pieces, add them to a pot of boiling water, and let them cook for a few minutes. You can cook potatoes this way too. Just place them in cold water and slowly bring the water to a boil. Another way to cook vegetables is steaming. It's a good way to cook asparagus. Just chop it up into short pieces. Add one inch of water to a pot, heat it, and once it starts boiling, add the vegetable on a steam tray and put on the lid. Let it steam for five to six minutes. In the case of peas, steam them for three minutes. Lastly, roasting vegetables means cooking them at high heat for a longer period of time. Carrots cooked this way taste wonderful. For the best results, cook them at 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Toss them in a bit of oil and season them with herbs and spices. Then, roast them until tender on the inside and crispy on the outside. Now, 
Let's watch a video about these methods. 5번 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 6번 언급된 채소가 아닌 것은? 7번부터 8번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 7번과 8번 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Good morning, Middleton High School students. I'm Brittany Craig, organizer of the 2022 Middleton Science Fair. As announced, the 2022 fair will be held on Saturday, October 15th. It's one of the largest high school science fairs in the region, with a lot of students participating every year. We are always in need of volunteers for a variety of tasks, so please help out if you can. First of all, you can help participants as mentors, teaching them how to talk to people at their booth. You can also volunteer as registration staff. You'll help check in participants, direct people, and provide general support. And if you have a science background, we need judges to help us. You'll review, score, judge, and provide good feedback on participants' projects. Also, we need fair hosts to welcome visitors and participants to the fair and provide simple information. If anything interests you, or if you have any questions, please call or email us. Contact information is on the Middleton Science Fair website. Thank you for listening. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Good morning, Middleton High School students. I'm Brittany Craig, organizer of the 2022 Middleton Science Fair. As announced, the 2022 fair will be held on Saturday, October 15th. It's one of the largest high school science fairs in the region, with a lot of students participating every year. We are always in need of volunteers for a variety of tasks, so please help out if you can. First of all, you can help participants as mentors, teaching them how to talk to people at their booth. You can also volunteer as registration staff. You'll help check in participants, direct people, and provide general support. And if you have a science background, we need judges to help us. You'll review, score, judge, and provide good feedback on participants' projects. Also, we need fair hosts to welcome visitors and participants to the fair and provide simple information. If anything interests you, or if you have any questions, please call or email us. Contact information is on the Middleton Science Fair website. Thank you for listening. 7번 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것은? 8번 언급된 역할이 아닌 것은? 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, this is J&M Printing Solutions. I sent you the revised draft of your company's flyer. Yes, I just checked your email and I was about to call you. Is there any problem? I revised all the parts you wanted me to change. 2번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Cindy, are you okay? You look so exhausted. It's because I haven't been getting much sleep recently. I've been staying up late to work on an important work project due next week. I'm worried. It's really important to get enough sleep. I know, but I have no choice. There's so much to do for the project. I need to get it done. But when you're so physically exhausted, you're not good at working efficiently. That's true. Lately, I've been finding myself working for hours and not getting anything done. See? You need your sleep. It'll help you be more productive when you work. You're right. And the quality of work time is more important than the quantity. Exactly. Not getting the right amount of sleep can make daily functioning harder. 3번 대화를 듣고 
여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Emma, I heard that new members joined the table tennis club. Right. We've got two new members. That's good. Are they participating in the tournament next month? Yes. They're going to enter the doubles tournament. I'm going to coach them. Great. They'll need time to get used to playing as a team. Right. But it's going to be a big challenge because they are total beginners. Hmm. I can help them. When do you practice? Thanks. We're starting tomorrow at 6 p.m. We're going to have practice every weekday from 6 to 8. Oh, I can only join you twice a week because of my part-time job. I see. Then why don't you give them your feedback after watching their practice videos? They'll upload their practice videos on our club blog. 4번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 데니스가 비앙카에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Dennis and Bianca are best friends and co-workers. Over the past month, Bianca has often worked overtime preparing for the company's new product launch. Last night, Bianca was admitted to the hospital because of a sudden stomach problem. She had some tests and is now waiting for the results in the hospital. She's worried and hopes there's nothing serious. After hearing that Bianca's hospitalized, Dennis goes to visit her. She's normally positive and full of energy, but now she seems uncomfortable and concerned. Dennis wants to comfort her and let her know that she'll get better soon. In this situation, what would Dennis most likely say to Bianca? 5번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 에이미가 벤에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Ben is a hairdresser at a local hair salon. One day, Amy, one of his regular customers, comes to the hair salon to have her hair done. Ben asks Amy what type of hairstyle she'd like. Since Amy has been Ben's customer for several years, she believes Ben will do a good job with her hair. So, Amy tells Ben to just do whatever he thinks would look good on her. Ben says okay and starts to cut her hair. After some time, Ben says his work is done and asks Amy how she feels. Amy realizes her hair is shorter than she expected, but she likes it. Amy wants to tell Ben that he did a nice job with her hair and that she likes her new hairstyle. In this situation, what would Amy most likely say to Ben? 6번부터 7번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 6번과 7번 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, everyone. Last class, we learned about green foods. Today, let's talk about black-colored foods. For most of you, Black may not be associated with good-tasting food. Nevertheless, research suggests that some black foods have numerous health benefits. Here are some examples. First, let's look at black beans. High in protein and extremely tasty, black beans have anti-cancer properties and help control blood sugar. Black rice is also a good source of protein and fiber. It sends toxins out of the body, improves heart health, and helps digestion. Another example is black garlic. It may look frightening, but this aged version of garlic actually has been shown to reduce bad cholesterol levels and increase disease protection. The last example is black mushrooms. They contain natural substances that can help prevent aging and cancer. If you think of any other black foods, bring them to class. Thanks. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, everyone. Last class, we learned about green foods. Today, let's talk about black-colored foods. For most of you, black may not be associated with good-tasting food. Nevertheless, research suggests that some black foods have numerous health benefits. Here are some examples. First, let's look at black beans. 
High in protein and extremely tasty, black beans have anti-cancer properties and help control blood sugar. Black rice is also a good source of protein and fiber. It sends toxins out of the body, improves heart health, and helps digestion. Another example is black garlic. It may look frightening, but this aged version of garlic actually has been shown to reduce bad cholesterol levels and increase disease protection. The last example is black mushrooms. They contain natural substances that can help prevent aging and cancer. If you think of any other black foods, bring them to class. Thanks. 6. 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 7번. 언급된 식품이 아닌 것은? 8번부터 9번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 8번과 9번. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, students. Irrespective of what color you like, everyone will agree that colors play a vital role in our lives and affect the way we feel. They also carry deep cultural meanings, and the symbolism of colors varies depending on the country. For instance, in the United States, green means wealth, which is represented by the color of the dollar. On the other hand, in Mexico, green represents freedom and independence. After gaining its freedom in the 19th century, Mexico chose to display green in its flag to represent independence. The same is true for yellow. In France, yellow signifies jealousy, betrayal, weakness, and contradiction. In the 10th century, the French painted the doors of criminals yellow. But the people of Egypt closely associate yellow with gold, which was commonly used to paint mummies before the dead were sent to the afterlife, making it a symbol for mourning. As shown in these examples, knowing the different meanings of colors is an important key to understanding how people from different countries feel and behave. Next, let's look at some proverbs related to color. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, students. Irrespective of what color you like, everyone will agree that colors play a vital role in our lives and affect the way we feel. They also carry deep cultural meanings, and the symbolism of colors varies depending on the country. For instance, in the United States, green means wealth, which is represented by the color of the dollar. On the other hand, in Mexico, green represents freedom and independence. After gaining its freedom in the 19th century, Mexico chose to display green in its flag to represent independence. The same is true for yellow. In France, yellow signifies jealousy, betrayal, weakness, and contradiction. In the 10th century, the French painted the doors of criminals yellow. But the people of Egypt closely associate yellow with gold, which was commonly used to paint mummies before the dead were sent to the afterlife, making it a symbol for mourning. As shown in these examples, knowing the different meanings of colors is an important key to understanding how people from different countries feel and behave. Next, let's look at some proverbs related to color. 8번 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 9번. 언급된 나라가 아닌 것은? 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Honey, it looks like you're buying something on the internet. Yes, I'm buying some socks. All my socks are really old. Have you found any good socks to buy? Yeah, I found a dealer who sells a pack of three pairs for only $15. That sounds reasonable. Oh, look here. The dealer sells a pack of white socks for $5 cheaper. It also includes three pairs of white socks. Great. That seems better for me, because I usually wear white socks. I'll get just white. How many packs are you going to get? Um, four packs. And I have a 10% off coupon. Great. 
How much is shipping? Let's see. It's two dollars. It says if you sign up for a new membership, shipping is free. I'm already a member of this site, so I can't get it. But that's okay. I'll place my order now with my credit card. 2번 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Foster's Fresh Fruits, how can I help you? Hello, I'd like to order some fruit for delivery. Do you have strawberries? Sure. A 1 kilogram package is $10 and 500 grams is $6. I'll take three 1 kilogram packages. Okay, anything else? Yes, I'd also like some oranges. All right. A box of large oranges is $35 and a box of small oranges is $30. Which are sweeter? Both are about the same, but if kids will be eating them, I recommend the small ones. Oh, then I'll take one box of small oranges. I live in Bloomingdale Apartments. How much is the delivery fee? It's $3, but it's free since you're ordering more than $50. Great. My address is Bloomingdale Apartments, Unit 304. I'll pay by credit card. All right. Your order will arrive by 5 this evening. 3번 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Happy Land Amusement Park, how may I help you? Hi, I'd like to buy some admission tickets. All right, how many tickets do you need? Well, how much are they? $60 per adult and $40 per child. Children under six are free. Great. I need two tickets for adults and two for kids. They are both over six. Okay. Do you have any coupons? No. Are you offering any other discounts? Sure. If you pay with a Supra credit card, you get 10% off. Great. I have that card. I'll pay using it. All right. Would you also like to get a meal coupon? It's $10 for each person. Where can I use it? You can use it at any restaurant inside the park. Hmm. No thanks. We're planning to have dinner outside the park. Okay. So please let me know your Supra credit card number. All right. It's 1322-1422-5124-2310. Thank you. 4번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, Ms. White. How was your weekend? Hello, Mr. Baker. It was good. Yesterday, my family had lunch at Kelly's Restaurant downtown to celebrate our 15th wedding anniversary. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. Have you been to Kelly's Restaurant before? Yes. I love its food and atmosphere. Me too. It's a little expensive, but definitely worth it. For sure. So, did you do anything special for your wedding anniversary? Yes. We took the kids to the park where my husband proposed to me. Oh, that sounds romantic. You must have been reminded of the old days, right? Yes. My husband told them how he and I first met. And my husband and my kids had secretly prepared something special for me. Really? What was that? My kids gave me some gifts and letters, and my husband proposed to me again. 5번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, Professor Green. I heard that you were looking for me. Yes. Have a seat, Susan. How are you doing these days? I'm doing great, but I'm worried because there's not much time left until graduation. I understand. Speaking of which, have you heard of Blue Electric Car Company? Of course. It's a growing car company. Right. Their research and development lab is looking for new assistant researchers. If you're interested in getting a job there, I'd like to recommend you. Wow, that's a great opportunity. However, I'm also interested in going to graduate school. That's great. In fact, you can attend graduate school while working there. Really? 
That sounds fantastic. They'll even pay your tuition since they encourage researchers to study. 6번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Julia. Good to see you. How's everything? Oh, hi, Mike. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing great, too. By the way, how are you preparing for your job interview? Isn't it next week? That's right. I'm starting to get nervous about it and don't know what to do. I know what you mean. I also got so nervous before my first job interview. Really? But I've heard you did great on that interview. Could you give me some tips? I heard that a lot of anxiety comes from not knowing what to expect, so I did my research on all the predictable questions. Oh, I should do that. Also, preparation will lead to more confidence, which can even make you look forward to the interview. Thanks for your advice, but I'm still not sure if I can do well. 7번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 팀이 KT에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Tim and Katie are high school friends. Today, they volunteer at an animal shelter in their neighborhood. Katie is asked to clean up the inside of the shelter in the morning and the outside of the shelter in the afternoon. Tim is asked to feed the animals and walk them. Katie sweeps and mops the floor all morning, which really tires her out because the shelter is very large. On the other hand, Tim finishes feeding the animals and gets some rest. At lunch, they talk about each other's mornings. After hearing about Katie's tiring morning, Tim feels bad because his job seems to be so much easier than Katie's. So, he wants to tell Katie to switch jobs after lunch. In this situation, what would Tim most likely say to Katie? 8번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 하나가 톰에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Tom and Hannah are married. Recently, Tom has been gaining quite a bit of weight as he's been working late and not exercising. One day, he has a regular medical checkup and is warned by the doctor to lose weight. Thus, he makes a plan to exercise every day for an hour before going to work. Hana thinks that his plan is too big to carry out, but Tom seems determined. For the first week, Tom sticks to his plan and exercises every morning before work. But then he starts to skip exercising, so... Hana wants to tell Tom to reset his plan so he can follow it more easily. In this situation, what would Hana most likely say to Tom? 9번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 데이빗이 올리비아에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. David and Olivia are a couple. They're driving back home after grocery shopping one Saturday afternoon. They have a feeling they forgot to buy something, but they can't remember what it was. As soon as they get home, they realize they forgot to buy shampoo. David remembers that last time they were shopping, they forgot to buy milk and had to go back to the grocery store. David thinks there must be a way so they can avoid forgetting to buy things they need. He wants to tell Olivia... that they should write down the items they need to buy before they go shopping in the future. In this situation, what would David most likely say to Olivia? 2021 레이크사이드 에세이 콘테스트에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Okay, class, before I let you go, I'd like to remind you about the 2021 Lakeside Essay Contest. As you know, the theme of this year is Messages from Summer. Last year, the contest was only open to freshmen. But this year, all students at Lakeside High School can participate. You can submit your essay to me by email. Don't forget your essay should be no longer than three pages. Please start writing your essay today because the deadline is next Wednesday. 
you can check the results of the contest on July 3rd. The top 10 essays will be posted on our school website. I hope many of you participate in this contest. All right, everyone. See you next time. 1번 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, fellow NSU colleagues. I'm Gordon Marshall, Dean of the College of Communication, Arts and Science. Your expertise is needed. We're currently encouraging professors and researchers to register to be a judge for the undergraduate research presentation competition on March 30th. This competition is a meaningful opportunity for our university's young scholars to personally challenge themselves creatively and academically. As a judge, you'll receive around 15 to 20 entries to judge, which will take around four hours. Your participation is highly valued and appreciated. Go to the university's website to sign up. Hope you can be a part of this meaningful event. 2번 대화를 듣고 여자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Eddie, how was school today? Actually, something came up at school today, Mom. Some of my classmates are working on an environmental project, and they asked me to join them. That's good, right? You're interested in environmental issues, huh? Yes, but I'm so busy with student council and club activities these days. If that's the case, just say you can't join the project. It's not easy, though, because they're my close friends. Sure, but if you never say no to anything, you'll end up living according to what others want, not what you want. You're right. If you want to be true to yourself, you need to learn how to say no. I understand. I think it would be wise just to be honest and tell them you can't join the project this time. I'll do that. Thanks for your advice, Mom. 3번 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Jaden, how's the poster for Book Character Day going? I finished a rough sketch, Ms. Perkins. Take a look, please. You drew eyes in the two O's of the word book. That's cool. Thanks. And I made the Y in the word day into a Y-shaped bookcase. That's creative. What do you think about Peter Pan putting his right hand up? I think having Peter Pan is excellent. You read a couple of Peter Pan books in class, right? Yeah, that's why I drew him. Good idea. And I like this heart-shaped image in the lower center. Thanks. Then what do you think about how I put the date of the event? It's good, but I think you should also add the event place below the date. Good point. 4번 대화를 듣고 남자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Ryan, did you hear that Mr. Jackson, our math teacher, is leaving? Yes. I heard his parents are sick, so he has to take care of them. I can't believe we won't see him anymore. I'll really miss him. Me too. Do you remember when he danced with us at the school festival? Yeah, that was so fun. He always wanted to get involved in our activities. Right, and he always took pictures of us at school events. I posted those on social media. Oh, I just thought of something. Why don't we make him a class album for a going away present? What a great idea! I think everyone in class will love that idea. I'll ask our classmates to send me fun pictures they took with him. Cool. Then I'll look for a site that makes class albums. All right. He'll love the album. 5번 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Hello, Ms. Miller. What brings you in today? Hi. I'm looking for easels for the school art club. All right. We have two types. Aluminum and wooden. How much are the aluminum ones? They're $35 each. Hmm, that's a bit too much for the budget. How about the wooden easels? 
They're normally $25, but they're on sale for $20 right now. That's a really good price, and I think they'll work perfectly for your students. Great! I'll take five of them. Okay. Do you need anything else? Yes, I also need some paintbrush holders. We have silicone and metal ones right here. Silicone ones are $10 each, and metal ones are $12 each. I think the silicone ones are safer than the metal ones for students. I'll take five of the silicone holders. Okay. And since you're spending over $100, you get 10% off the total price. Wonderful. Here's the school credit card. 6번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 체육관에 가는 이유를 고르시오. Hi, Jack. Where are you going? Hi, Sandra. I'm on my way to the school gym. Oh, for your basketball club? No, I actually quit the basketball club. Really? I thought you really liked basketball. I did, and I still like it. But I quit to join the soccer club. I recently realized how much I love playing soccer. That's cool. Then why are you going to the gym? There's a job fair today and tomorrow. Don't you know about it? Oh, yeah, that's right. I know about it. I just want to see what it's like. Maybe I'll find something I'm interested in. That's a good idea. I'd also like to go, but I have to finish a big history report by Monday. I see. See you later. 7번 대화를 듣고 오크빌 커뮤니티 아트 콘테스트에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Hi, Maria. I received an email about the Oakville Community Art Contest. I thought you might be interested in it. Hello, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, I'd love to enter that. That's what I thought. Thanks. Is there a theme for this year's contest? Yeah, it's traveling with family. That's good. I went on a fun trip with my family last summer. What's the deadline for submitting pieces? It's October 15th. Good. I have enough time to prepare. How many pieces of art can people submit? Only one piece per person. Is there an age limit? No. It's open to everybody. Great. And the winner's pieces will be displayed at Oakville Middle School. I see. Thank you for letting me know, Mr. Johnson. 8번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 등록할 겨울 스키 캠프 프로그램을 고르시오. Lucas, come look at this website. The winter ski camp programs have just been posted. Oh, cool. Let's sign up for one. Let's do it. Which one do you think we should join? Well, we already have plans at Christmas, so this one is out. Right. Besides, we're beyond the beginner level. Oh, look. This one is advanced. Yeah, I think that's too high for our level. I agree. Let's take one of the others. How much do you think we should spend? Mm, I'd rather not spend more than $500. Me neither. Then we're down to these two. The more expensive one has a group size of six people, and the cheaper one has a group size of ten people. The smaller the group size, the better. I think we could learn more in a smaller group. So let's sign up for this program. Sounds good. 9번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Kevin, have you bought the history textbook yet? I tried to get a copy at the campus bookstore, but they were all sold out. I ordered it online, and I've already got it. You should order it online, too. You're probably right. Do you think it'll arrive before next week when the semester starts? 10번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Mia, I saw you studying German yesterday. Are you taking a German class nowadays? No, I'm just studying on my own. I want to become an opera singer. Wow, that's cool. Are there a lot of operas in German? 
대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Paul, do you have a minute? Yes, Ms. Brown. A new student named Ben Jones is transferring to our school next week. Oh, that's great. So, I wonder if you can give him a school tour sometime before next Monday. Sure, I'd love to. When would be good? Ben said any time this weekend is possible. When is convenient for you? Saturday morning is good. I work at the library in the afternoon, and I'm going on a picnic with my family on Sunday. Okay. Saturday morning should be fine with Ben. Could you make plans with him? I'll give you his phone number. Sure. I'll call him to figure out the time and place to meet up. That'd be great. He'll really appreciate your help. 12번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 스텔라가 안톤에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Stella and Anton are cousins. They are both in high school, attending different schools in different cities. They often talk about school life and seek advice from each other through social media. Today, Stella and Anton are talking about their upcoming final exams on social media. Anton says he's worried because he's having trouble concentrating on studying for his exams these days. Stella knows that Anton spends a lot of time watching online videos. She thinks it affects his concentration on studying. So, she wants to tell him that he should stop doing it. In this situation, what would Stella most likely say to Anton? 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 레이첼이 케빈에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Kevin is looking for a place to work out every day. He has found two fitness centers with good facilities. The first one is a five-minute walk from home, and the second one is a 30-minute walk. Kevin likes the first fitness center because it's closer to home. However, he also thinks that the second fitness center can be a good choice because it offers a great discount for new members. Kevin cannot decide which one to choose and asks his sister Rachel for advice. Rachel remembers that he quit exercising in the past because the fitness centers were far from home. She thinks that Kevin should choose a fitness center based on distance, not cost. So, Rachel wants to suggest to Kevin that he should choose the fitness center near home. In this situation, what would Rachel most likely say to Kevin? 1번 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Do you have any family members or friends suffering from serious illnesses? If you do, then you'll know how much they also suffer financially from their medical fees. We can help you ease their financial burden through our online fundraising system at www.donatinghands.org. The first thing to do is make your page. Find the Create Page button in the top right corner of our website. and add a story about the person you want to help. When your page is ready, we'll help you easily reach out to the people around you using emails and texts. Plus, since you can also easily share your fundraising link with others, you'll be very surprised by how many people you can reach. For more information, please visit our website. 2번 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hello? Hello, may I speak to Mark Green? Speaking. May I ask who's calling? My name is Amy. You're the taxi driver who found the man who fainted on the street and reported it to 911, right? Yes, I'm him. I'm his wife. I called 911 and found out your phone number because I really wanted to thank you. Oh, I'm glad to have helped. How is your husband? He's okay, thanks to you. The doctor said my husband might have been in big trouble if he had arrived a little later. I'm glad to hear he's better. My husband also wants to send you a thank you gift. He doesn't have to do that. I just did what I had to do. Hmm, 
really? Of course. I just hope your husband keeps getting better. 3번 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Jane, how was your weekend? Good. I volunteered to paint a wall in Jacksonville town. Look at this picture. Oh, there's a banner saying please do not litter above the wall. Yeah, people have been throwing away trash there. That's why we're decorating the wall. If it looks more attractive, people will stop littering there. I see. You're standing on a chair painting a bird. Yes, and the girl in the middle with a hat on is my friend Jenny. I remember her. She's painting a mountain. And the boy wearing a striped t-shirt is her younger brother Ryan. Oh, he's painting the mountain with his sister. By the way, did you bring all these painting tools on the mat with you? Yes, except for this rectangular mat. The residents gave us the mat so that we could take a rest and put our painting tools on it. I see. How nice of them. 4번 대화를 듣고 여자가 남자에게 부탁한 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Where are you going, Tom? Oh, I'm heading out for my volunteer work. I didn't know you were doing volunteer work. I've been doing it for a couple of months. It's a program called Meals for the Elderly. Oh, cool. What specifically do you do? Well, I pick up meals from the program office and deliver them to elderly people who live alone and have trouble getting around. I see. How often do you do that? I volunteer once a week, but it's possible to do it more than that. Would you like to join? Hmm, okay. It seems like a good program. How can I start? Just call the office and sign up. They'll let you know what to do once you sign up. Great. Could you give me the number of the office? No problem. I'll do that after I get back home. Thanks. 5번 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Welcome to Green Wave Eco-Friendly Shop. Can I help you find anything? Well, actually, my friend told me that you have the best eco-friendly products. That's right. The products we have are all made from recycled materials. Great. Hmm. This wool blanket looks nice. How much is it? It's $80. This is our best-selling blanket. It's made of 100% recycled wool. That's reasonable. I'll take one. Good choice. And how about these eco bags? Wow, the designs are so cool. We just got them in. They're ten dollars each. I'll buy two of them. Okay. Is there anything else you want to buy? No, that'll be all. All right. And since it's your first time here, we can give you a ten percent discount on the total price. Perfect. Here's my credit card. 6번 대화를 듣고 여자가 오후에 병원에 가려는 이유를 고르시오. Hey Kate, it's lunchtime. How about grabbing lunch together? I'd love to, but I need to finish writing this report for the meeting tomorrow morning. Have quick lunch and finish it. No, I can't. I'm going to the hospital in the afternoon. Why? What's the matter? I had a stomach examination last week because my food wasn't digesting easily. Are you going to get the results today? That's right. I see. Well, I really hope that the results will be good. Thanks. I hope so, too. I've been worrying all week. I'm sure everything's going to be all right. I can bring you a sandwich when I come back from lunch if you want. Sure. Thanks. 7번 대화를 듣고 헬스푸드 엑스포에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Boss, have you heard of the Health Food Expo? No, what is that? It's a big exposition for the health food industry. The purpose of the expo is for the leading suppliers of the industry to promote their new health food products. Hmm, we should go there. Maybe we can get some ideas to expand our restaurant menu. How can we attend? We need to buy tickets first. We can either buy them at the expo or online. I see. 
Where is it going to be held? It's going to be at the Central Convention Center. Do you know the date and time? It's Tuesday through Thursday, March 15th to the 17th. It's open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. Okay. I hope we can get some useful information from the expo. 8번. 에너지 드림 센터에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Energy Dream Center. This center is open to the public to learn and experience green, renewable energy. More than 500,000 people have visited our center since its opening in 2012. This building is designed to optimally save energy by adopting various technologies such as solar power, automatic lighting control, and heat recovery systems. It consists of a main hall on the first floor, an exhibition hall on the second, and an education facility on the third. Our center provides a guided tour program where visitors can learn about the principles of renewable energy. I hope you enjoy our Energy Dream Center. 9번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Jenny, your eyes are really red. Are you okay? They're a bit dry and itchy. I think I've spent too much time staring at the computer screen. Oh, no. That's really bad for your eyes. You need to give your eyes some rest. 10번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Kyle, you said you're going bike riding with your friends tomorrow, right? Yes, Mom. We're going to Douglas Lake Park tomorrow. That's pretty far. Yeah, we're starting early in the morning. I see. Have you gotten everything ready? I think so. I've put a towel and a small mat in my bag. That's good. Ah, don't forget to wear your helmet and put some sunscreen on your face, too. Well, I don't like putting sunscreen on my face. It feels sticky when I sweat a lot. I know what you mean. But you need to protect your face when you are outside. Why don't you use a sweat-resistant sunscreen then? A sweat-resistant sunscreen? I haven't heard of it. It doesn't melt even when you sweat a lot. That's what I really want. Where can I get it? I saw one at the drugstore across the street a few days ago. 11번부터 12번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 11번과 12번 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello everyone. I'm Michael Brown from the community center. As a student, it's important to take some time out of your normal routine and do something for others. So, I'd like to let you know what kind of volunteer opportunities are available for teenagers like you. First, the easiest one is participating in a charity activity. There are endless charity organizations to volunteer for, so you can simply choose one that fits your interests. Secondly, making a blood donation is a good way to save lives if you are healthy and over the age limit. Taking a short time out of your ordinary school life can be a lifesaver to others. Also, imagine you're in a country without knowing the language. It may make you feel strange and lonely. So, Language tutoring for people from other countries can be very rewarding volunteer work. Lastly, child mentoring is another very rewarding job for students of your age. There are so many children who need help, so if you're interested in being a role model, you can easily find mentoring organizations online. I hope you find time to experience the benefits of doing various types of volunteer work. Thank you. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello everyone. I'm Michael Brown from the Community Center. As a student, it's important to take some time out of your normal routine and do something for others. So, I'd like to let you know what kind of volunteer opportunities are available for teenagers like you. First, the easiest one is participating in a charity activity. There are endless charity organizations to volunteer for, so you can simply choose one that fits your interests. Secondly, 
Making a blood donation is a good way to save lives if you are healthy and over the age limit. Taking a short time out of your ordinary school life can be a lifesaver to others. Also, imagine you're in a country without knowing the language. It may make you feel strange and lonely. So, language tutoring for people from other countries can be very rewarding volunteer work. Lastly, child mentoring is another very rewarding job for students of your age. There are so many children who need help, so if you're interested in being a role model, you can easily find mentoring organizations online. I hope you find time to experience the benefits of doing various types of volunteer work. Thank you. 11번 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 12번 언급된 활동이 아닌 것은? 대화를 듣고 남자가 커리어데이 행사 장소를 변경하려는 이유를 고르시오. Mr. Bresnan, how's the preparation for this month's career day going? Pretty well, Ms. Potter. This time, a local baker is visiting our school to speak with our students. It'll be good for our students to learn about what bakers do. The event will be held in the seminar room tomorrow, right? Well, I think I have to change the place of the event. Why? Is there another event scheduled in that room? No, I already checked. Then is it because of the repair work going on next door? That's not an issue. It starts after school. So why do you want to change the place? Actually, more students signed up than I expected. Oh, I see. How about using the conference room then? It has more space. Great idea. I'll go check if it's available and let the students know. 1번 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, I'm Rachel Bautista from the Community Youth Center. As most parents agree, it's important children learn about finances. In fact, many parents admit that they wish they'd learned more about managing money when they were young. So, we've started a smart money program for kids that will help them develop good money management habits. They'll learn about different ways money is used, how it circulates, and how it affects their lives, from volunteers who work in the financial industry. The program is designed for children aged 10 to 15. Let your children learn to manage and understand money in a fun way. For more information, please contact the Youth Center. Thank you. 2번 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Judy. What are you up to after work? I've got to pack for this weekend. My family is going on a short trip. Cool. You travel a lot with your kids. They must experience a lot of new things. That's why I try to take them traveling as much as possible. They can learn more from that than just sitting at home and studying. Absolutely. Travel exposes children to new experiences. I think that can make them better at taking risks and solving problems. Right. And I love how the kids have a chance to connect with new people. I agree. They can learn and grow a lot from that. Yeah. I also make them pack themselves and let them choose where to stay and what to eat. I think it makes them more responsible. Right. It's great you travel so much with them. We all love it. 3번 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hi, Melissa. How was your weekend? Hi, Lewis. I took my kids to an exhibit where kids are able to participate in job-related role-playing activities. Check out this picture. Wow, it looks like a real TV news studio. This girl with glasses sitting at the desk must be your daughter. Yes, she loved acting like a news anchor. She looks like a natural. I like this background with a picture of Earth. Me too. Do you see KL in the circle on the desk? It stands for Kids Land.
That's cool. This boy holding a roll of paper behind the camera must be your son. Right. He was acting like a camera operator. He looks cool. They even have a big screen on the top left like a real studio. Yes, that's what real anchors use to be able to see what's on air. Your kids must have had a lot of fun. 4번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Finally, the audition for our acting club is tomorrow. I know. I'm so excited to meet the people auditioning. Me too. And there's a lot of interest in our club. So we have the interview questions ready, right? Yes, there are 10 of them. We can ask each applicant a few of them. Good. Some of the long-term club members will help out tomorrow. That's great. Oh, by the way, I noticed that the tables in the auditorium weren't set up for the audition. Don't worry. Alan will set them up. Cool. Have you printed out the audition scripts? Yeah, but I haven't photocopied them for the applicants yet. We need about 20 copies. I'll take care of it. I'll use the copy machine in the computer lab. Okay. Then I'll send the applicants a reminder text message. Good. The audition should go smoothly. 5번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Welcome to the Central California Zoo. Hi, I'd like to get tickets for my two kids for the nighttime adventure program on August 5th. Okay, how old are they? They're 8 and 10. All right, are they annual pass holders? If so, it's $25 per child, or else it's $30 a child. Yes, both of them have an annual pass. Okay, and you can get pickup service for an additional $5. Would you like that? No, thanks. I'll bring them here. Okay. We recommend dropping them off at the Discovery Center by 6 p.m. I see. And do I get an early bird discount? Yes. You get 10% off the total price. Great. Here's my credit card. 6번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 곤돌라를 타지 못한 이유를 고르시오. Jimmy? Are those photos from our trip to Whistler? Yes, Mom. That was an eventful trip, wasn't it? Yeah, we were so worried because the forecast said there'd be a heavy snowstorm. But fortunately, it didn't snow at all during our stay. Right. And remember the hotel upgraded our room because the heater didn't work in our original room? Yeah, that was nice. But it was scary when Katie sprained her ankle while playing around the hotel pool. I know. We had to take her to the hospital. But even with the sprained ankle, she still rode the gondola. Yeah, but I couldn't because I am afraid of heights. You take after your father. I know. Instead of riding the gondola, Dad and I ate hot dogs while waiting for you and Katie. Then you had a stomach ache the rest of the day. <laughs> right. I should have just eaten one hot dog, not three. 7번. 대화를 듣고 시니어 트래블 패키지에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Hello, Sunshine Travel. How may I help you? Hi. I'm interested in booking a travel package to Europe for my parents. They're both in their mid-70s. Good. We have a senior travel package, which is a nine-day group tour to Germany and Switzerland. Perfect. My father uses a wheelchair. Is everything wheelchair accessible? Sure. All courses are wheelchair friendly. Great. Then what's the maximum number of people per group? Ten people. Each group will be accompanied by a professional local guide. Sounds good. When are the travel dates? The tour group departs on June 28th and returns on July 6th. Does that work? Yes, that's the time frame they're looking for. What are the accommodations like? They are all four-star hotels. Great. Could you send me the itinerary? Sure. Let me send it to this phone number. 8번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 아이들을 등록시킬 미술 프로그램을 고르시오. 
Honey, why don't we sign up the twins for a children's art program hosted by the Midwest Arts Council? Here's the brochure. Sounds good. It seems that they're very interested in art these days. They're nine years old, so they're too old for this one. Yeah, and I think they're too busy to join a program that meets three times a week. Right. Oh, this program is at Woodside Studios. Do you know where that is? Yeah, it's on the other side of town, near the Eastfield Library. I think that's too far. It'd be better to join a program at Fredrickson Gallery. It's closer. I agree. Between these last two, this one is more expensive. Yeah, it looks good, but that'd be over $100 total since it's more than $50 a child. I don't want to spend more than $100. Then let's sign them up for the other one. They'll like it. 9번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. John, what's all that in your bag? Mom, they're the books I want to read on our family trip. I see, but it looks so heavy. Plus, I don't think you'll have enough time to read all those. 10번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Amelia, what are you posting on the bulletin board? Hi, Charlie. It's a poster for a charity event to raise money for the local orphanage. It's a five-kilometer run through the city. What a good cause. How can I join it? I'd like to sign up for it. 11번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Excuse me, I'm touring the city and was wondering if I could ask you something. Sure, go ahead. Can I catch a bus here which goes to the Pine Museum? Yes, you should take the number 10 bus and change buses at Oak Street. How many stops are there from here to Oak Street? About 15 stops. It takes about 30 minutes. Oh, I see. And how much is the fare? It's $1.50. Thank you. No problem. But you know you could also take the subway to the museum. You don't even have to transfer lines. Really? Can you tell me where the subway station is? It's simple. Just walk about 10 minutes that way. Oh, my. I've been walking around all day. I don't feel like walking anymore. 12번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 윌리엄이 호텔 직원에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. William has been traveling around Seoul the past week and today he flies back home. It's 11.30 a.m. now and he's in his hotel room. He goes to the front desk to check out. However, since his flight is at 8 p.m., he still has some time to do some last-minute shopping near his hotel. After checking out, he'll have to carry around his heavy luggage with him. But he knows that some hotels allow guests to keep their luggage at the hotel for a little while after checking out. So he wants to ask the hotel staff if they provide that service. In this situation, what would William most likely say to the hotel staff? 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Welcome back to the final episode of Tomorrow's Singer. We hope you enjoyed the performances of our two finalists. Now, it's time to pick the winner of our singing competition. Vote now by texting the name of your favorite contestant to the number at the bottom of your TV screen. This is your last chance to help your favorite contestant become a superstar. You can also win exciting prizes just by voting. Remember, voting closes in only five minutes. So, cast your vote now and decide who will be tomorrow's singer. We'll be right back after a short commercial break. 1번 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Welcome to IT World. Do you want to advance your IT career? 
Batwick Community College is offering an online information security manager training program that can help you out. It's a highly respected certification program within the technology industry. After completing the 120-hour program, you will be qualified for positions in risk management, security, and other executive management. The program covers a variety of topics concerning IT security. You'll learn how to handle security threats, assess and manage risks, protect data, and make policies surrounding IT security. These are all incredibly valuable skills in today's digital era, and the certification will ensure that you are prepared to handle security issues that arise. For more information, visit the Batwick Community College website. 2번 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. 뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐뭐
Can you help me choose the flowers? Sure. Oh, this is the flower delivery website that I often use. Well, I think either this $50 bouquet or this $60 bouquet will be great. I prefer the $60 one. It looks nicer. I agree. By the way, does the $60 include the delivery fee? No. Here it says there is an additional $5. Oh, I see. And why don't you send the flowers with a congratulatory card? That's a good idea. Is it free? No, you have to pay $3 for the card. However, it'll be worth the extra money. Right. It'll be much better to send the flowers with a card. I'll order them now with my credit card. Your friend will love them. 6번 대화를 듣고 여자가 프로그램 녹화에 참여할 수 없는 이유를 고르시오. 안녕하세요. I'll need your answers by next Friday. I can send you the questions later today if that's okay. Okay, I can do that. Thank you. And I'd also like to ask you one more thing. Could you also join our next episode? The recording date is April 20th. I'm sorry, but I'll be out of town attending a conference that entire week. Oh, that's okay. Anyway... I appreciate you taking the time for the interview. 7번 대화를 듣고 남자가 동창회에 관해 언급하지 않은 것을 고르시오. Hey, Ian. When did you say our high school reunion is? Hi, Sally. It's at the end of next month. That is October 31st. I've been pretty busy preparing for it. You must be very busy since you are the president of the Alumni Association. Where is the venue this year? Since this year is the 100th anniversary of our school, I booked somewhere fancier than usual, the Royal Hotel. Oh, nice. But that must be quite expensive. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, but probably each participant will have to pay at least $50. I see. Are you inviting teachers, too? Yes. Next week, I'll send out online invitations to all graduates and teachers who taught us. It sounds like a lot of fun. I'm sure we'll have a really good time. Thank you, Sally. 8번 우즈빌 네이버후드 게더링에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, neighbors. For those who are new to the neighborhood, I'd like to introduce the Woodsville Neighborhood Gathering, the neighborhood's monthly event, which has been held every month since May 2002. It's held every last Friday evening of the month at Woodsville Park, which is located in the west of town. As usual, there will be a barbecue and fun activities for kids and adults. This Friday, as a special event, there will also be a movie shown along with cold summer treats. Not only Woodsville residents, but also anyone living in the surrounding area are invited. For a fun social outing with your family and neighbors, stop by. Hope to see you there. 9번 다음 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Mr. Kim, could you give me a hand? I need some help with my internet connection. Sure. What seems to be the problem? Actually, I forgot the Wi-Fi password of this office you told me yesterday. I thought I wrote it down on the notepad, but it's gone. 10번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. 
Good morning, Susan. You're here early today. Good morning, Jason. Look who's talking. You're always the first person to arrive at the gym. What can I say? Playing badminton in our club is the highlight of my week, so I always try to get here as early as possible. That's great, but I'm actually worried about our club. What do you mean? Well, a few members quit last week, and that wasn't the first time we lost club members. Our club has been losing members since the beginning of this year. Oh no, we need more members to keep our club running. Besides, playing badminton with many people is the essence of our club. I know. That's why the leading members are trying to recruit new members. Is that so? What are they doing? Well, they made some flyers, but I don't think that's enough. Right. We need to find other ways to promote our club. 12번부터 12번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 11번과 12번. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Good afternoon, everyone. Last time we talked about IoT, the Internet of Things, which refers to the connection of everyday objects to the Internet. Today, let me give you some examples of smart home appliances that use IoT technology. A smart refrigerator can create grocery lists and link to smartphone apps, allowing users to control the temperature remotely. Another example is a smart coffee maker, which makes it easy to schedule, monitor, and modify users' coffee brewing from anywhere. The next example is a smart washing machine. It can easily specify when users need their laundry done. Finally, a recently launched smart alarm clock, hidden in a stylish lamp, offers a refreshing wake-up experience through changing light and customized music. With these products, we can experience the IoT technology every day. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Good afternoon, everyone. Last time we talked about IoT, the Internet of Things, which refers to the connection of everyday objects to the Internet. Today, let me give you some examples of smart home appliances that use IoT technology. A smart refrigerator can create grocery lists and link to smartphone apps, allowing users to control the temperature remotely. Another example is a smart coffee maker, which makes it easy to schedule, monitor, and modify users' coffee brewing from anywhere. The next example is a smart washing machine. It can easily specify when users need their laundry done. Finally, a recently launched smart alarm clock, hidden in a stylish lamp, offers a refreshing wake-up experience through changing light and customized music. With these products, we can experience the IoT technology every day. 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Welcome to Family Pet Shop. May I help you? Hi, I'm looking for dog food. Let me show you. Thanks. How much is it for a bag of dog food? That depends on your dog's age. Oh, does it make a difference? Yes. It costs $15 per bag for little puppies and $20 per bag for adult dogs. My dogs are all grown up, so I'll get two bags of dog food for adult dogs. All right. Do you need anything else? Well, can you recommend a good brush? Oh, how about this one? It's very popular among our customers and only costs $10. Perfect. I'll take one. Good. So you want two bags of dog food for adult dogs and one brush, right? Yes. Can I use this discount coupon? Let me see. Yes, you can get 10% off the total with this coupon. Great. I'll pay in cash. 1번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Cindy. What are you looking at on your smartphone? Hi, Ryan. I'm buying a new bag for myself. Have you found a good one? Yeah, look. 
What do you think? It's cool, right? And it has a lot of good reviews. Yeah, it's cool. Did you find and read any negative reviews too? Well, I haven't thought about that at all. Why? Last month, I bought a leather belt with a lot of good reviews online. But after a couple of weeks, it started to tear. Oh no, the leather must have been pretty low quality. Right. Then I went back online and noticed some complaints about the weakness of the leather. Ah, so you didn't see any of the negative reviews before you bought the belt. That's right. I thought there weren't any. So you'd better check if there are any reviews about the problems with the product before buying it online. Okay, I will. Thanks for your advice, Ryan. 2번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hello, this is Emma Collins. Hello, Ms. Collins. This is Peter Morrison at the security booth. Hi, Mr. Morrison. Hi. There's a man named Eric Brown at the front door of the building. He said that he came for a job interview. Let him in, please. He's scheduled for an interview at 10 a.m. today. All right. Are there more interviewees coming today? Yes. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about it in advance. I've been busy arranging today's interview, and we're supposed to interview some applicants all day today. I see. Then could you let me know the names of the interviewees? Sure. I'll message you the list right away. Thank you. Shall I send the interviewees to your department? Yes, the Human Resources Department. Thank you so much, Mr. Morrison. You're welcome. 3번. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Ms. Davis, here's the cover I designed for the annual business report. Thanks. Let me see. I put our company building here on the left. Is that okay? Yeah, it's good there. And you wrote the title with the first letters of each word capitalized. I thought it'd be better than capitalizing all the letters. I agree. You drew the number 2022 in an oval on the right side of the cover. I think it's just nice. Great. How about this one? Do you like the keyboard with two hands on it? Yeah, it shows that our employees are working hard. That's exactly what I intended. And I like this paper ship, too. Since the paper ship is our logo, I thought I should put it on the cover. Great job designing the cover. I really like it. Thank you. I'm glad you're happy with it, Ms. Davis. 4번 대화를 듣고 여자가 남자를 위해 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, what are you going to do this weekend? I'm going to make a small library for the kids in the attic. Cool. Have you cleaned out the attic yet? Not yet. There are a lot of old toys and clothes that we no longer use. I need to get rid of them. What are you going to do with all of that stuff? I'm not sure. I don't want to just throw them all away. Why don't you sell them at the charity bazaar? What charity bazaar? There's one on the first Saturday of every month at the community center. So the next one is Saturday, next week. That'd be perfect. Do you know how I can sign up? I'm not really sure. One of my friends sold stuff there last month. Do you want me to ask her? That'd be great. Could you do that for me? Sure. I'll do it right now. 5번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Hello, sir. Is there anything I can help you with? Yes. I'm looking for a bed sheet for kids. They're right over here. We have a variety of them. This colorful dinosaur sheet is so cool. It's cotton, right? Yes, it's cotton. It's $20. Oh, this one is the same design but feels different. It's softer and lighter. It's made of microfiber. It's $5 more than the other one. Oh, that's a good price. 
I'll take the microfiber sheet. And doesn't it come with any pillowcases? I'd also like to buy pillowcases with the same pattern. Sure. They're $8 each or $12 for a pair. Great. I'll buy a pair then. Here's my credit card. Thank you. I'll bag everything for you. 6번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 양탄자를 반품하려는 이유를 고르시오. Honey, what's that big box for? It's to return the rug I bought online the other day. What's wrong with it? I thought you really liked it. I do. It matches the rest of the furniture in the living room perfectly. Then why are you returning it? Is it not big enough? No, it's not the size. This morning, my younger sister called and told me that she had ordered the same rug for my birthday. It should arrive in the next couple of days. Really? How did she know you wanted it? Actually, before I ordered it, I sent her the link to it to ask her opinion, and I didn't tell her that I ordered it. Oh, I see. That's nice of her. Yeah, I'm going to pack the rug and take it to the post office to send it back. 7번. 대화를 듣고 스퀘어 원헌드레드 몰에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Hey, Bernard. Have you been to Square 100 Mall yet? You mean the new shopping mall? No. Doesn't it open next week? No. It opened last Friday. I went there yesterday. Oh, great. How is it? It's really nice. And right now there are a lot of big sales. I bought a nice jacket and a bag for 30% off. Wow. That's a good deal. How many stores are in the mall? There are 100. That's why it's called Square 100. That's a lot. Is there anything else to do besides shopping? Yeah. Of course, they have a food court, and they also have a huge indoor playground for kids, and it's free. That's great. I'll take my son there this weekend. 8번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 남자가 주문할 무선 이어폰을 고르시오. Honey, are you buying something online? Yeah, I'm thinking of buying wireless earphones for Lauren's birthday. What do you think? Sounds good. She'll love them. I found a good website. Look, this model has noise cancellation. That's good if you're somewhere noisy, but she won't really need that. Besides, that model is really expensive. I see. Good point. Let's keep it under $60. Yeah. What about the length of playtime? That's important. She won't want to have to consistently recharge them, so I think we should get one that lasts at least four hours. All right. So then what about sweatproof? Do you think it's necessary? Yes. She'll use them while she's working out, so she'll be sweating. Then this is the right model. Okay, I'll order them. 9번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Ben, what are you doing on your smartphone? I'm looking for a movie to go out and see. Would you like to come with me? It depends. What type of movie do you have in mind? 10번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Excuse me, but could you tell me where I can find a bathroom in this building? Go out of the entrance and take a right turn. It's right there. Thank you. Do I need a key to open the door? 11번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Paul. You seem a little worried. Is something bothering you? Actually, I made my dad feel upset last night. Oh, what happened? Our family was having dinner together, and my dad was trying to ask me something, but I was too busy looking at my cell phone. Really? But why didn't you pay attention to your dad? I was chatting with my friends on the phone, 
and I was having so much fun with them that I didn't hear him talking to me. Well, don't you think your dad also wanted to talk with you? Hmm, I see what you're saying. I shouldn't have acted like that. Right. I'm sure your dad was frustrated that his son wasn't listening to him. But I think he'll be okay if you apologize to him. I wasn't being considerate. I feel so bad now, but I'm not sure what to do. 12번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 케빈이 엄마에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. One day, Kevin sees his mother studying Chinese. He's surprised to see his mother trying to learn a foreign language. He asks his mother why she decided to learn Chinese. She says that she's always wanted to learn it, but she's never had time so far. She also says she's still not sure whether to continue studying it or not. Kevin thinks she should continue to study because it's something she's always wanted to do. Also, since he's taken Chinese at school, he thinks he can help her. So, he wants to encourage her and let her know that he's willing to help her to study. In this situation, what would Kevin most likely say to his mother? <laughs>